What did we watch? You know what we watched. Pastrami Mastanami! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. This is Rick. Come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. Come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> if you're new to our channel, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squad. Rick, hit it for me. Me? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. <laughs> Please follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more cheers, Rick. Go, Dad! It's oh. so Where'd you go? You were oh, here for so long. Oh, she was long. here for so long and has disappeared. Hey, look at that little button behind you. Ooh. It didn't break, everybody. Well, it dented. It. <laughs> there is a tiny little dent and it's actually kind of perfect. Yes. Um, and thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Uh, just to let everybody know what we are doing with all that. Um, we have not touched any money that we've gotten from Patreon. It is all going to a trip to India. So when we have the funds to buy tickets, we're coming. That is the funds we will be using. Correct. So if you'd like to give, thank you so much. If not, no worries. Like, right. comment, and subscribe as always. Exactly. But it's all 100% dedicated to us coming and being with you stupid babies in India. Yes. So, today, or yesterday, we watched Pastrami Mastanami. Hey, which I do know now is Baji Ramastani. No, it's Pastrami Mastanami. It will always be Pastrami. In fact, it's devolved into, I think when I told him I was watching and I sent him a text and said, yeah, I'm about to watch your mom's Pastrami. <laughs> uh, but this was obviously very, very requested. Um, Especially after uh, we watched Padmavad. Yeah, it was like, now you gotta watch this. Yes. So this came out in 2015 starring um, Ranveer. And uh, don't say it. His wife. Don't say that. You know how mad some super babies have gotten because the only way we refer to her is as Ranveer's wife. Topeka. Yes. Pat. Say your last name. I can't do it. Topeka Patacone. I think. Patacone. But yeah, they were like, she's not just Ranveer's wife. She's a phenomenal actress. Give her the credit. And hey, sorry. Credit. Um, credit. We but, know. We knew her first as Ranveer's wife. Yes. Uh, but um, so this one, you want to read the? Sorry. Yeah. We'll read the uh, the synopsis. An account of the romance. Between the Maratha general, Bajirao the first, and Mustani, the princess of Budokan and my beautiful pasta. <laughs> so, yes, um, this film, uh, obviously spoilers. Yeah, if Sorry. you haven't seen this, go away. It's how, watch it. It's nope. how we like to do it. We'll let you know, watch it, so thumbs up, go yeah. watch it. If, if we didn't want you to watch it, we'd say don't waste your time. Yes, so, but I'm sure you. all of you have seen this film. Yeah. In 2015. Everyone but us. But still, and every other American. The exact same director, if you want to say his name. Yes. Uh, Sanjay Lila Bansali. I love this director. Me too. So much. So much. <laughs> because it was exactly the same, not the film, but the, the way it was shot as Padmavat. Just yes. completely and utterly beautiful. And astonishingly for me, even more. Yeah. In, in many respects, this was even more beautiful. Um, uh, and Alexis, Alexis was contemplating coming to do this review with us because she watched it with me because all I had to say was Rand Beer was in it and she was like, I'm in. And <laughs> the only reason she didn't come was because she says, I don't have much insight like you guys have. I'm just going to tell you that I really liked it and it was pretty. Yeah, we have good insight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, I thought the film started off really well because it started off fast. It sure you did. Got straight to a battle. Immediately. And, and then I, you got to meet both the characters. So obviously you met Renvier obviously when it opened and he shot the arrow. That's the thing I was which, first which, which, which was a great scene. Great scene. But then you got them on the battle uh, that she came in and you met her. As a warrior. As a warrior. Yeah. And then just kicked some ass and yeah. started <laughs> cutting people down. Yep. And then obviously that you showed their love interest and then there was that epic battle yeah, right, right at the beginning. I, I was instantly connected to the story uh, as fast as any film we've seen from India. Yeah. I was instantly wanting to know more, yeah. intrigued, and connected was a little people. more of a slow burn. Which was fine. Yeah, no, which I loved. I did too. It, it was its own pace, but this really got me in it fast. Yeah, and um, the... Uh, Obviously, it was completely beautiful, just like just like Panama Bob, oh, man, a screensaver. But she, uh, the acting side of it, that's obviously what I drove to. So this is a completely different character for Ranveer yeah. than uh, what whatever the character's name was in Padma Vat. Yeah, the raging madman. Which I loved. Mm -hmm. I probably loved that character more 
just because that's more my type of character. I love that. Right, the, the raging lunatic. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a villain and he's just crazy. Right. This is probably, acting-wise, even better though. He got to show more range. Exactly my thought, exactly Which, my thought. So I still love this character. And I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I loved his work in this. My personal preference of watching a character are the ones that would be a bit, Exactly. Not as often as you. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I love Daniel Day Lewis and Phantom Thread, and a lot mm -hmm. of people aren't really thrilled with that, but yeah. that's my personal thing. I agree that the, uh, the nuances of his acting in this, I thought it was another level. Mm -hmm. Not that he wasn't fantastic in Padma Bot, so yeah. I agree with you. But also on acting, I think Topeka Say outshined him. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> the ladies seem to almost always, actually, both of them. His first wife. And I don't know, I don't know if it's, I don't know what, like for example, as great as Shah Rukh Khan was in, uh, what are the, the one we saw? My name is Khan. Thank you. I was more taken mm -hmm. by, uh, uh, Kajul. Kajul. Same thing happened for me, which I didn't know Ranveer yet, but when we saw Gully Boy, mm -hmm. I was so shocked at how good Ali Ba was. was. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know why that is because t most of the time, I think you may be the same way. I connect with the dude actors. Well, I think it has to do one of the films we've watched. I mean, they've had a lot more women empowerment in their cinema. True. Way before we ever did. What? It, not just in their cinema, but in their culture. Yeah, in their culture. <laughs> Obviously, they. I had, mean, they've had women empowerment before our country existed. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, but yeah, the uh, the I thought she did a fantastic job as she was. She was so captivating when she was on screen. Even more, I mean, she was good in uh, Padmavash. She was. But this let her shine. Yes, yeah, she had more to do with this one. Yeah. She had way more. The other character was really good. It was nuanced, and she was beautiful, and she was quiet, and she, I think she did a perfect role. I couldn't see anyone else playing that yeah, role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This had a lot more complexity to it, a lot more... She had a lot more dialogue, I think. That's true. Right? Yeah. And the other... I, I just... Keep going. So what else? Yeah, I yeah. thought... The, uh, the, this film was so interesting in terms of how you felt mm -hmm. about the characters because you find, you find, uh, obviously when you find out they're in love, you're like, oh, they're in love. And then you're like, oh, he has a wife. Exactly. You're like, wait a minute. If she took the sword, he's got a really wonderful woman at home. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> but then you still... Ended up rooting for him and Topeka's relationship. That's what I wanted to get into. Even though you're like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that you have a... Like, because the first wife, she's she's a fantastic woman. She's she's really... Captive. I thought one of the best scenes in the whole film was when she came into Topeka's room. Yeah. And uh, they started having that dialogue. Yep. And that, I thought that was an epic dialogue. And then it switched to the song. Come on, Corbin. Marks. And I was like... This song is so upbeat for being so depressing. Not only, was that, <laughs> not only was that song upbeat, I was watching, this goes back to the directing, it also goes back to the charisma of the two ladies. Mm -hmm. Watch that, watch that again. And for those of you who are very familiar with the uh, grand Hollywood musicals of the 1950s and 60s in, and 40s in Hollywood, I'm talking American in Paris, singing in the rain, and that ilk of musical. Mm -hmm. This director has got to be a f not just somebody who knows it, but is a fan of it, because so much of the way he shot that musical number was reminiscent of the golden era of Hollywood musicals mm -hmm. at every level. It looked like an American in Paris a few times, which is saying a lot. That's mm -hmm. one of the greatest movie musicals ever. And I just was flabbergasted watching those two totally captivating ladies in that gorgeous number in what is a really strange departure from where we've been with the two ladies in the conflict. Mm. Uh, and, but it, it, the thing I loved about so much about it is because I was conflicted. I was like, I love this song. It's so upbeat and happy, but what they're saying is, each of us have this half of a heart of this man. We can never have his whole heart. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is depressing. I know. It's but awful. it was like this. <laughs> and it made me think about the realities of, because 
don't want to wax long on this, but the, the reality is of their polygamy not only has always been in culture in the human race, but it still exists in some cultures. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I was in Papua New Guinea, I sat down at a table with the guy who was staying at the little place we were staying at and having a conversation with one of the guys staying at this little hotel, tiny little place, talking to each other and he had four wives. And it was just a matter-of-fact conversation about his four wives. And mm -hmm. as I'm talking to him, you know, I'm not totally respecting him. And I'm in his country, and I'm just listening to him. But internally, I'm thinking, how in the world do not only you manage such a relationship, but what's it like for the women in yeah, that situation? That's crazy. Crazy. Now, how did I had very strong feelings about that situation. You said that you found yourself rooting for the forbidden love relationship. Did you find yourself rooting more for that relationship than you did Kashi and Bajirao? It, I mean... Or was it an equal tug of war for you? Um, it was probably equal. Okay. Uh, because, I mean, it, but I was also like, ah, I don't want to root for you. <laughs> because it'd be one thing if, like, his first wife was, like, this awful person and he was he was unhappy, but, like... He seemed happy in both I, <laughs> relationships. No, I, I got to tell you, I, first of all, I think partly because I was so, um, it's the right word, captivated, um, enchanted by Priyanka's performance. Uh, I thought and Priyanka is Jonas's wife, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not getting into that one because I don't remember I think who was with who. Priyanka, because that's his wife. I think for sure. Priyanka Chopra, I think, is Nick Jonas's wife. It may be, but see, Corbin's caring about the whose wife they are, and I'm just talking about her acting skills. That's all. So, uh, anyway, Priyanka, uh -huh. and see, he could edit that out, so that may not even show up. Uh, I've, I've just, throughout all of this, yeah, he was, it was cashy for me. It was, I felt so sorry for her. Yeah. Because she was just nothing but a gem, a sweetheart in love with him. That dance number, we, we reacted to that first dance number when was, she shows up. It was even better this time. Way well, obviously because we, we knew what was going on. I still was enamored by the shots. I was pointing it out to Alexis while we're watching and how in, in one particular shot, she's standing there dancing, but he captured her in all of the singular yeah. reflection. Just gorgeous, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm watching this and I'm getting emotional as they're showing Cashy who's realizing the lyrics and the movement, this girl's in love and what's going on. And oh, putting two and two together, that's why his dagger's gone. And mm -hmm. all over and over, I just kept saying, poor Cashy, mm -hmm. poor Cashy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then when she had to greet them at the door, like, oh. in, which was a great scene, she was like, just, uh, she was like, thank you for keeping my honor. And she was like, just so you know, the, the, the hospitality ends at the threshold. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, was like, and then but then on the other hand, let's talk about Mastani. Mm. Let's talk about the moment they're gonna try to kill her. This, for me, oh yeah, this good. moment I'm about to I'm about to talk about. For me, this is like if I was teaching a theater class again. Mm -hmm. This is something I would show in theater class as one of the most epic moments in cinema history in the depiction of of a woman mm. when she's fighting those dudes mm -hmm. with a kid in her arm. Yep taking on three dudes and she's like bring it I'll kill all y'all mm -hmm. with one hand and holding my kid in my arm mm -hmm. I thought that was yeah that was freaking that was, that was epic crazy. and I also liked at the at the end when um, well towards the end when um, which we'll talk about the end here in a minute but the Pico and um, they said carry the kid away and she was like the son of a he's gonna walk away on his own and she gave him that speech she mm -hmm. was like mm -hmm. what is fear uh huh. And then yes, kept, I was like, "Oh, this is good. Really good." This as good. as was getting back to Ranveer, his character, and I know a lot of liberties were taken with it. It comes. I tried to do as much homework as I can, and one of the things that with an American film that we have a huge advantage for, for example, when Spielberg did Lincoln, we already had a wealth of information about the background, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I could tell you whether or not he was doing justice to something. Or if it's subject matter we're both really familiar with, we know. If I'm watching a movie about baseball, I'm going to tell you if they're getting it right. Because we don't have that vantage point, I tried to do some homework. And I don't know how accurate this is historically and versus the novel, but one of the things I loved about his character was 
on the one hand, he was just knee-jerk kicking everything away that was getting in his relationship with Mustani. But what I loved was his challenging of all of these religious conventions just for the sake of religious convention. Yeah. That was a really cool undercurrent that wasn't the main story, but I thought was a really important part of the story. Not just how he relates to Mastani, yeah. but just this revolution going on the, in the, the mother world. The mother reminded me of the, uh, the mother from um, Game of Thrones. That, that oh, yeah. What's yes, it? she reminds well the the flowers yeah. yeah who drinks the poison with Jamie yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah. sorry Don't, if you haven't watched Game of Thrones stop watching <laughs> <laughs> but yeah she reminded me a lot yeah of and that. great yeah. actress that lady I'm yeah. sure she's a legend yeah <laughs> I'm sure we probably seen I would her probably some... seen her yeah a hundred times but she was really very very strong yeah she was but my favorite I mean uh, for Ranveer I I liked the character the whole time but then I ended up loving the character was the very end when he went crazy. Uh, of course, I loved it because you loved it. <laughs> you you love it when they I lose loved their it mind. when he changed and then he just started running and he was <laughs> yeah and then he realized he was like uh, either like I can't do this oh or, uh, whatever he realized at the very end I loved it I'm getting the feels mm -hmm. there was a moment that got me to tears mm -hmm. because I was so connected with all three of these people in the story, it's, it's very Shakespearean. It is. Very Shakespearean. Yeah. And, the, and the tragedy of people trying to do their best but not knowing how to handle the emotions and wanting to be honest with their emotions but at the same time realizing, do it, should I always be honest with my emotions? Shouldn't my principles come before my emotions? Mm -hmm. So when he's laying there oh, and, Ka and Kashi walks in Oh, and she. And he, uh, he, 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 two things. The first thing he says is he, he calls her Mastani. Yeah. But she, she stays there. Yep. And then he asks, How's Kashi? Mm -hmm. There I go, right there. That yeah. moment was just so precious to me. It was. It and was. her character, she's the, the heroine yeah. protagonist for me for the whole story. I just thought, and I, that number, I couldn't, as wonderful as they both were, I just. Uh, Priyanka was such a surprise to me mm -hmm. at, at how marvelous. Yeah, I think I she think, was, which is crazy to say with Ranveer uh, in in the thing. And Topeka was no less. I, we had seen her in, in Padmavat, so it wasn't as revelatory for me because I was expecting her to be great. Mm -hmm. I had not really watched Priyanka in anything before like this. Yeah, it was crazy that Topeka and Priyanka were, oh. they kind of stole the show. Of, yeah, of the film. For, uh, are there more films with them together? There might be. Because if there are, wives. if there are, I want to see those two working together because their chemistry together. I want to see Topeka great. and something else. She's been in Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that. Our works. favorite movie of all time, Baywatch. But uh, hold on, I'm trying to see. If she yeah, we're looking at. Uh, Priyanka's I, I know she's done a lot of Hollywood. She's done stuff. a lot of work here. She is one of the very few who have become successful in both American film market and she's obviously a superstar in India. Yeah. But yeah, I'd give Did it... Did I see Barfi? Dawn 2? Oh, she's all over the place, man. Mem remember, everybody, we're still stupid babies just like you, but in a different way. Yeah. We've only... We're, we're infants. We are only three months old. We were exposed to Indian cinema for the first time with Gully Boy on January 14th. So... Yeah, it's, 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 it's not even a three full months yet so we, we don't even know how to walk yet <laughs> when it comes to Indian cinema it's true <laughs> but yeah I definitely get I mean this is I think one of the most well rounded films we've seen absolutely um, it's so gorgeous I mean I can't honestly find a flaw with this film no and let's well, let's talk about this, this, the sets yeah. and the costuming yeah uh, it, was, it was all beautiful off the freaking charts I loved it all yeah. I, I'd give this film an A plus I, absolutely I, I, I honestly can't think of a flaw in this film, you might be able to, you might not, like some people say they don't like the over dramaticness, um, over dramatization of India history. Right. That's what they said with Padmavat. Right. So I don't know if it's the same thing, but as a film, we're just talking about it as a Pure film. as a film. We don't know the history behind it. It's, it's a phenomenal film. Agreed. And I, I, I wasn't bored ever watching it. It never got dull. Yeah. All the acting was great. Great. In which but is the script. And again, when we say script, it's very difficult to know how much of the lost in translation thing happens a lot from the Hindi to the, the English. I thought the script was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, there weren't any ridiculous corny lines. There wasn't no. stuff they were telling us that we were just like, don't tell me that, just show me. Mm -hmm. I thought the, the yeah. dialogue was 
great. Yeah. It's fantastic. I thought it was one of the most well-rounded films. Yeah, this is one I will recommend. Like, I am beginning to disciple people here who are good friends and are saying, okay, what should I watch? And I'm taking them on the journey that we've gone on. And this is absolutely... This was the first film my wife watched, by the way. And she liked. She liked it. She didn't like the subject matter. Well, of course not. Yeah. I, for me, it was just... <laughs> she did. Cashy. She hates films that have to do with... <sighs> Uh, infidelity or not? Yeah. It wasn't obviously infidelity in that time, but in that uh, culture. But it was. It, it was. She was like, "You have a, you have a you wonderful have a, wife. You have a, what are you doing? Why, <laughs> yeah. Why would you want anything more than that? <laughs> so why, why are you not happy she, with she, what you have? She enjoyed the film. Though. Yeah. She, but she just that's oh. not her subject matter. Yeah. Uh, for me, this movie is all about Kashi. Yes. So yeah, definitely recommend. Thank you so much for recommending. Yes. To thank us. you guys. As always, you guys are always making great. Recommendations. What film should we watch next? <laughs>